Hey guys, Bamsel Angie here, and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this lovely haul video that I have here. I have a lot of things from Michaels, and then I just recently, uh, <laughs> while I was going through the haul mixes here, uh, I recently forgot that um, I had a haul video for December, but I never got around to it, so I'm gonna add it in here. Although. <laughs> The hauls from that, I should say, the hauls from at least one bag is from during Christmas time, but I completely forgot about it. So, um, hopefully you guys will still enjoy what you see here. And I also went to American Eagle, so that is also cool. I did some shopping this past weekend, so hope you guys enjoyed that as well. So, yeah. And, um, I do have also a package video that will be coming up soon, right over there. I got a couple of packages and I'm waiting for like one more, so, but that'll be in the next video. So no problem to that one. All right. So here's this video and hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right. So I'll start off with all the things that I got this past December. Ugh. I'm literally kicking myself for having to forget, but I said, oh well. But um, hopefully you guys will like this little haul here. So I'm going to start off with all pretty much the small things first, and then I'll gradually get into the bigger things here as well. Um, so... Sorry, I'm just trying to take it out of this package here. Alright, so during this Chris, uh, the past Christmas season, I decided to get a few things, and here they are. And this right here, focus, here we go. I decided to get a couple of puppy stickers, so hope you guys enjoy these. Some different ones too. And we also got these here. So there's those. And then I also saw these stickers. So I just said, ooh, I gotta get some of these too. And these are a little bit sparkly, as you can tell. And some other ones here too. So there's those. And then finally we get down to, I'm just going to go quickly through these molds and this is supposed to be um, a holiday mold. So I thought this was really neat, still in its packaging as you can see, but that's alright. And here's the back. So there's that mold. And then I also have this mold, which is the six cavity season greeting molds. This is how they would look. I thought these were pretty neat with all their lettering in between and the direct and their decorations that they have here. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm just gonna fix this here. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure not to touch the camera. And here's the back side. So there's that mold. And the last mold that I picked up here, I had to get because I, I, I also said, oh, I have the Christmas mold and then I have the gingerbread. So I said, I gotta get this one too to add to it so I got the 24 pack snowman mold and they're just little snowmans here and there so that one's pretty cool so those are all the Christmas molds that I have so there's those and then just recently I um, 
I know I'm a crafter at heart with Palmer Clay, but I also do um, some time from, depending on which, how I'm in the mood for it, but um, I also do embroidery floss, which is, um, I want to say, uh, I think it's a cross stitch thing, but um, I haven't really got around to it, but um, hopefully by this month I can get to it. I bought a couple of these things. This one's the pastel pack. And these ones are the spring. I said these are very colorful. And then I also got the primary ones. And also, I said, why not? Because um, sometimes you just need something <laughs> that's a little out there. I don't know. These uh, remind me of the tie dye effect. And these are the... This is how they look like. So I got those as well. Which I really adore. I plan to... Um, Put them on my one package. I have a like a sewing material kit that I have, um, and then with those that I recently purchased, I decided to also get the plastic um, bob pins. And what you do is you just pretty much you get the thread, you and you kind of like wind it around just so. It goes into that little hook right there, and it won't get um, tangled. And every time you want to use it, you can untangle it and then just stick it in that hook right there all the time. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And it even shows you in the back like how to do it. So I thought these were pretty neat. They're plastic, so they're not made out of cardboard, which will probably rip easier. So I just decided to go with those plastic ones. And I got a couple of these, so. Alright. And I also decided to... There's a couple more I gotta get for these, but I decided to purchase these. Um, these are decorating tips. Hold on, let me focus this. Okay, there you go. I got the decorating 14 star tip number 14 and I'm basically going to use these for clay items so whenever I decide to make like a cupcake or something I'm going to be using these so I got a size 14 a size 16 and the last big size is a 21 I don't know if I'll use this but um only time will tell so I got those right there. And then just recently, um, I was thinking about a project that I was going to be working on. Um, it has to do with um, creating like a tree and then also with um, just keeping it with just keeping it set. But um we're gonna just see how that's gonna go because I actually have to make create this before I actually decide oh I'm gonna it's gonna work out or it's not so I got some of this um I already forgot what it was called it's uh well it's a uh, it's um oh that's what it was uh AQV wire so this this is a kind this is the kind of wire that you can wrap around your clay in. You can actually bake with it. I've seen it on um, a, a particular person's video that I was that I was previously on Crafty and Nemo, and she actually used this kind of wire to bake her to bake her clays in and how to. Um, I think she was like creating uh, one of her creations with this wire, so. It just kind of gave me an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but 
I'll let you guys know if it if it is or if it isn't. So once I get around to making it, I'll, I'll definitely create a video on it, whether if it was a pass or a fail by using this. So we'll see. And then to help me along with it so that it stays together after the whole baking process is done, I decided to get some super glue. Um, this is gel control. Uh, hopefully it works. Um, it says it's used for plastic and Palmer clay is pa is practically plastic. So we'll see how this goes. I'm still debating whether or not it's going to work. So, oh, and then I also decided to get, um, it's a clover protector grip thimble. I got a size medium because that thumb's pretty big and I would like to stop poking myself every time I use a needle. So that should come in handy. And then lastly, this is a sort of a mix because it took me a while to get all of these. Um, these are Palmer clay. And I gotta say they actually did update the Craftsman. Um, I want to say the brand, the updated brand for it. So you'll see what I mean. These are how they look like now. From the previous ones. I guess they were a little bit, I want to say a little bit bigger and they kind of rip, it had like a rippled effect in the middle, but these are how, these are how they look now and this is how the back looks too. And still has the same degree on it. Should probably say somewhere around here. Oh yeah, it actually says right there. So that's where the baking of the the oven use would be for. So yeah, they really updated the brand. Um, I would say the the brand itself, and then they updated the plastic material around it. So I find this very very helpful, and. Who knows, maybe maybe um maybe the brand itself will actually be better. So I don't know, I haven't tried this out yet. I'm still using my previous um older version of the Craft Smart, so I'll let you know if I ever get around to it. But these are how they look and then this is a a bright green yellow. one is a uh, white this one is magenta brown purple uh, what's this one this one's a uh, pink We have a light brown. So it's gonna fall. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to keep things in order here. Orange. Uh, let's see. Beige. Mm, dark green. A rose, and silver, and let's see, oh, green, black, red, Blue, light yellow, and the last.
last two here, which are dark red. And tan. The only one I have not um, bought yet is gold. I think it's just taken a while for me to get that one. But either way, um, that's pretty much it for, for the Christmas haul here. So the past Christmas haul that I've <laughs> really forgotten. I'm sorry about that. But um, okay, let's continue here. All right, and my second stash here for the video here. Um, this is actually my January haul, so nothing from Christmas. Young, so Christmas is already over. And, oh, I also forgot I got a few more clays here. So I'm going to get these shown first. So we got here, this is Jade. And then we also got here Baby Blue. This is Light Blue. And the last one here is Light Pink. So that is pretty much all the Palmer Clay colors that I officially got here. The only color I did not manage to get was, I believe, gold. So that is the only color I have not gotten. And I got also here, it was part of a Christmas gift, but didn't get around to it. So.